Good morning. Today we are going to be talking about radial symmetry. Some of you have already discussed with me regular symmetry, which is when something's the same on both sides. Today we're going to be talking about radial symmetry. Radial means arranged in a circle. Symmetry means it's the same on all sides. When we put those two words together, radial symmetry, that means all parts are the same and facing each other around a center point, which is also called an axis. With this today, we're going to be creating a mandala. A mandala is a circular symbol meant for meditation and relaxation, which I feel like we could all use a bit of right now. So today what you are going to need is a pair of scissors, a pencil, you might need an eraser if you have any mistakes, which we all do, and that's okay. You might also want a coin or a Sharpie or a marker of any kind. So here is an example of what we're going to be creating today. Okay, I have a square piece of paper with a design like we talked about. A, it is a radial symmetry example because it is a repeating design that is centered around an axis point or the center, okay? So what we're gonna do today is we are going to start by creating our, our, our square paper. And we're gonna do that in the same way that if you guys remember when we did our origami, um, some of you guys, we had to make our own paper. So you just had a regular piece of copy paper, which is also another thing that we're gonna need today. Sorry, I didn't mention that. Okay, you're gonna need a piece of paper. So we wanna make our piece of paper into a square. How we do that is we just need to fold our paper diagonally so that we get a point up here and we line up the edges of our paper at the top and fold it across. So now we have a diagonal line, but we also have this extra kind of rectangle of paper. So this is when we're gonna get our scissors out and we're going to just cut along that edge to get, cut that rectangle off. Okay, so we're all done with that. You can use this for another project. Maybe you wanna make yourself a bookmark. Okay, so I'm gonna keep this folded and I'm gonna fold it diagonally one more time. In half, okay? So I have a triangle when I'm done. Open it back up, okay? And now we're gonna fold it in half. Once. Okay, and try to make sure that you get all of your folds coming to that point in the center. Fold it in half one more time. Okay, and now when we open it up, we have a fold going this way, across making an X, and across the middle making like a plus sign basically, okay? So now, just using some simple lines and shapes in one of these sections, so like this section, okay, I'm gonna start my design. So I just wanna do simple lines and shapes. So I'm gonna start with a couple of straight lines. And normally I say, draw light till you think you've got it right. But when we're doing this, we need to do nice, dark, heavy lines. Okay, so I'm gonna go over my lines a couple of times. Okay, so I wanna do something more than that. I wanna make it a little bit um, exciting and detailed. So I'm just gonna do some more shapes. Uh, maybe if I wanna do a half circle, okay, or a kind of half teardrop shape here. Okay. Yeah. And 
maybe kind of a curved line here. Okay, and like I said, I'm gonna go over my lines a couple of times. Okay, so now what I wanna do, I, can, I wanna fold this on this diagonal line here, or I can fold it on this straight up and down line here. Okay, either way works, okay? So I'm gonna fold it, and either with my coin, okay, or with my marker, I'm going to just rub on that paper, especially where I know I put my lines, okay? Now, I did a really simple design, but you can go a little bit more detailed if you want to, if this is your first time making a mandala. Okay, so when I open it, okay, yeah, my design has transferred, the pencil has transferred from one side to the other. Now, I wanna make this a little bit darker, okay? So I'm gonna go back over it with my pencil and again, I'm gonna do it nice and heavy. Going over it a few times because we're gonna continue doing this until we have created an entire circle. Now, I have this whole square now created. So I can actually just transfer this whole square over to this other side, like a mirror image. So just to make sure I've got plenty of lead on that side again, I'm gonna go over it. And I'm gonna fold it in half this way. And I remember I only need to rub where I know the design is, so just in this little square here. So last time I used my pencil, I can also use a coin, like you're doing a scratch and sniff, or maybe a lottery ticket, you know. And I'm going to do the whole thing again. And what's totally awesome about this is that if you open it up and you're like, oh, I missed some parts, you've got those fold lines so you know exactly where you need to fold back up. Okay, so maybe I want this to be a little more clear. So I'm gonna fold it back up and I'm gonna do it again. Go over those areas that I want to become a little bit more clear or visible, okay? So now I have half of my circle. I'm gonna go over that design that transferred a little bit with the lead from my pencil, okay? And I am ready to do this one more time because now I have an entire half, I can transfer the other half to this side of the paper, okay? So I'm gonna fold my paper in half one more time and I am going to transfer the design. Again, you can use the side or the end of a marker with the cap on, okay? or you can use a coin, or if you find out something else works that you have around, anything that's got a hard edge that you can go over your paper with. Okay, I'm just making sure that I'm going over the areas that I know that there's pencil lines, okay? Let's see how it's looking. Okay, I think that looks pretty good. I can see my entire design. So I can just go over the rest of that. And after I have completed this, if I want to finish it, make it look like a finished piece, okay, then I can go over it with my marker, my Sharpie marker, or with any other artistic tools that I have lying around. Maybe I've got some crayons or some colored pencils, okay? So if you want to, you can go over your design with a Sharpie, 
And like we always do in art class, after we've gone over it with our black marker, okay, we can take our eraser and erase any pencil lines that are still showing so that it looks nice and clean. Okay, so if I take my eraser and I erase those pencil lines, looks nice and clean, okay? So you can do that with your whole thing. You can color it in, you can paint it if you've got paint at home, anything that you have available around the house. Um, so that is our radial symmetry mandala. I hope you enjoyed this lesson. I can't wait to see what you guys create at home and make sure that when you're done, uh, take a picture or scan it in and send me a copy on Google Classroom. Have a great day. Bye guys.